Here are my opinions on the magical revolution of the reincarnated princess and the genius young lady. This anime almost broke one of my cardinal rules of isekai, which is that for an isekai to be good, it has to address and have a reason for the character to be otherworlded. Yet in Magical Revolution, beside the first and last episode, the fact that our protagonist was isekai is never mentioned. Instead, they hide Anis' isekai status for an emotionally heavier reveal in that last episode. And it gets me, because that decision recontextualizes everything about her character. This plays into something this anime does really well, and it's finishing character arcs, as each important character has their own emotional journey. Anis has their secession problem, Yuffie finds her place after being abandoned by her fiancé, and even Algar gets a satisfying conclusion to his arc. Yet, the thing that pays off exceptionally well is the fact that this is a Yuri anime, because up to episode 11 you could just say that Anis and Yuffie are friends. You know, girls who are friends. They're girlfriends. Overall, I was very impressed with the tact and writing that makes me forget the integral genre of the story, but makes it impactful in the very end. And I gotta say, it's probably my new favorite Yuri Isekai. But that's just my opinion. What did you think of the magical revolution of the reincarnated princess and the genius young lady?